I love the show Billions. You know I've been all over it. I have my Axe Capital mug here. Oh, yeah, where Will is it? Will you get it so I can have it from, for this interview? Would you yeah. mind just fetching it? I'm sorry. I just didn't have it. I can't get up and do this. I just need to get in the moment. I have an Axe Capital mug. I've got my Axe Cap um, zip-up vest that I'll walk around town. People will be like, where the hell did you get that <laughs> from? And it's like, too bad. I know Copeland. I Levine. know people. I know the people who have created it. I know the writers of it. And, uh, you know, I've been... The words for it is caping, right? I've been using that phrase all day. I was caping for this yeah. show for some time, <laughs> and I cannot be more excited that season five is resuming this Sunday on Showtime, eight p.m., uh, nine p.m. Eastern time. And one of the best on that program and everything that he does plays the role of Mike Wags Wagner. Is the actor David Costable back here on the Rich Eisen Show? How you been, David? I'm well. How are you? I'm psyched to see what you've got cooked up. I'm so excited. Oh, got some good stuff. Now, what what is caping? Caping is the what phrase. Is- it's kind of like you know you're 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 backing somebody's play. You're it's like you're Superman. You're putting on the cape and you're and you're trying to uh, be there for them. So I'm caping nice. for you. That's the phrase. Nice. You have, clearly are. Have you? <laughs> you are. You you are. Superman and Batman. Well, all of them. I appreciate that. And, one. and just the fact that I got to actually spend a day on the set with you and the rest of the crew a couple of years ago is truly uh, like a career highlight for me, David. It was so fantastic, as well for me. I'll tell you that right now. Now, you have an Axe Capital mug, but you do not have a uh, What Would Wags Do t-shirt. Oh, oh, oh boy. Wow. You're about to get four yeah, sizes. Really. Is, <laughs> is there really a What Would Wags Do t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, you, you have not been, you've not been doing your merchandise homework, my friend. There's a cutout of Wags that you can purchase for yourself. I mean, I'm sure that we can have somebody, you know, for, for a caper such as you, I'm sure that we could have someone get you one. Yep. Well, I got to tell you, David, uh, <laughs> Um, I, th- I I kind of assume what Wags would do about anything, and it's not anything that I would normally be a default for me. You know, I think that that is I think that is probably true for me as well. How do you? And I actually then have to go and do it, which is even frankly even more fun. That is uh, my question for you: is is who do you channel? when you take on this role of wags on billions where scruples are kind of thrown out the window 99 times out well, of 100 well rich you 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 you've been you've been to new york city have you you've lived in new york city yes, you've sir. lived in new york city yes sir so i think that there is um <laughs> i think there's a modicum of rage that uh, we all can become uh Filled by some yes. days when we live in New York City, and I feel like you know I have a lot of access to that particular <laughs> aspect of living, yes. and um, it just is. Uh, I, I and now I get to foster it inside of myself in this particular way, and so you know that that not not only that can release in many different ways. Mm. And for Wags, he likes to enjoy the full rainbow of rage release possibilities. What's the f- your favorite Wags line that you're able to say on this show right now? Um, and- I don't think there is. <laughs> I don't think there is. One. There has definitely been stuff that I've I've just looked back, like seen like clips of, and yes. and in the second third seasons, I was like, my gosh. I can't believe I said that. That's appalling. It's just a <laughs> terrible, terrible thing to say. So then what's the most enjoyable uh, part of playing this role, David, for you? I mean, I, I, you know, there is nobody who has more, first of all, more fun on the set than me. Um, I get to say absolutely the best lines that those guys write. Um, they get to enjoy writing they get to. I think. I think one of the things about the writers too, and this has been true season after season, is that they like to surprise themselves with how appalling they can be <laughs> with regard to the voice of Wags. Um, there have definitely been times when, in the you know, okay, one time in a week that we um, per episode we would all be together and we would do a, a table read. We would read the whole thing. Yes. And there are just some times where the I would say something and I would just you know that thing that people do on the the, the when people are they're throwing free throws or shooting free throws. Yes. They're 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 holding their shorts at the knees. Yeah. yeah it just sort of crumples you at the the midsection and you got to hold on to your shorts in order to, to stay up. 
I love it. So that's it. That's the best. That is absolutely the best part. When I can either crumple myself or they crumple me. Or yes. They, I crumple the, the rest of the company. It's a spectacular feeling. Sometimes, though, when a, a player uh, pulls on their shorts, it's because they've got to catch their breath. I imagine it's the same thing with you, too, with that character. Exactly. You know, I mean, yes. it is so great. Well, what, what uh, if anything, David Cosmo here on the Rich Eisen Show, Showtime Billions coming back for season five. What can you tell us about the future of this show? Um, how many oh. how many more seasons? Anything that you've got Ooh. that you know of? Do you have inside information? You the, should definitely do some. You should see if you can get go to like a, a Showtime executive meeting. And okay, see if you can find out the answer to that. Mm-hmm. That would be fantastic. So um, we're now we we finished the fifth season. Yes, and um, we went straight into the sixth season. Terrific. So there will be we will have shot by December. We will have shot. Uh, 17 new episodes of Billions. Jeez. Um, wow. Yeah. So there will be there will be lots of Billions coming at you. And oh. there is some truly appalling things that I say. <laughs> into, so you, I, that, well, I, I do not disappoint this season and next, frankly. Well, I got to tell you, the, 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 you're the only person on the show whose character can even approach yours um, in terms of appalling and you never know what comes out of their mouths is uh the father of paul giamatti oh, yeah. on the program uh charles yeah. Jeff Demon, unbelievable yeah and chuck Rhodes' dad um yeah. you know on this show um and do you ever like have a go pull him aside have a chuckle over some of the stuff that comes out of your mouth and uh, and share he, a he, moment like that sort Jeff, of thing Jeff Demon, to me like i want to be that actor when i grow up because i feel like he's He's such a spectacular actor, and and <laughs> and it, everything that they write for him makes me laugh. And he is—he's just—it's—it's it's remarkable to watch him do it. He's just—he's absolutely—he's brilliant. He's brilliant at it. And he—he he also, I feel like he gets to lean into things that um, none of the rest of us ever would do. And there is there. Are, I was. They, they screened um, for us the other day the the eighth episode, which is the, ne- the next episode that's going to be on September fifth, mm-hmm. Sunday, Great. Uh, our premiere. And there is a particular scene that when I read it on the page, it just you, you, because you know what he's going to do and you know how awesome it's going to be, and he truly does not ever disappoint. Okay, that's uh, that's I, I can't wait for Sunday night again, uh, nine yeah. Eastern on Showtime, the resumption of season five of Billions. David Costable here on the Rich Eisen Show. I, I, I said it to you when I met you, and you've been on this show before. I mean, the shows that you have been on, David, uh, mm-hmm. Damages, mm-hmm. The Wire, Breaking Bad, and now this one. Is there a common thread, do you think, between the shows as to why they're successful or uh, anything um, that you think that is a common thread amongst any of these programs? I mean, the common thread is David Costable, I think. <laughs> <laughs> <Got it. laughs> I Outside mean, of the now, obvious, I'm yes. Another actor who is on all of them. Um, come to think of it, there isn't one. It's just me. So, it's just um, you. That's right. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I guess that that's just the gold standard. Once <laughs> once Constable shows up, then you're just like, oh, the golden age of television is alive. By the <laughs> way, l- let me tell you something, Dave, David. You, you, you've come to the right place in terms of tooting your own horn. And also, oh, yeah. and also, going third person while doing it, we respect uh-huh. that, sir. We salute that <laughs> here on the Rich Eisen Show. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean you have sir. a you have your own you have a television you have a, your show, yeah. and it's you you get to, re- to to refer to yourself all of the time. Oh yes, as Rich Eisen. Yeah, as a matter yeah. of fact, you know, I I, I uh, just to show how much I respect you and your show, I I removed the Rich Eisen Show mug for the Axe Cap mug. I mean, I don't do that for just anybody <laughs> or any show, you know. Yeah, I, no. Why would you? For God's sake, I, I, we're I'm on your show. For God's sake, not, you're not on mine anymore. And what's and what's the name of the show again? I forget what the name of the show is. One more time here. Uh, I think we've got a, a the reminder. Rich Eisen show. There it is. Hold I'm on. This is the Rich Eisen Show. That's even that got that reminder just for anybody who needs it. <laughs> Do you have like a button on your belt that you can just press that when you're just like, hey, this is the Rich Eisen show. show. No, it's just it's it's just it just it it just senses whenever it's necessary. It's the guy he pays billions. Sure. That's right. Yeah, yeah, pay, yeah. yeah I pay you billions, Mike. That's for sure. Uh, all right, so screw that question. Um, so let me ask you then. Uh, when you showed up on the set of Breaking Bad, uh, it was yeah. it was which season? How did you wind up on Breaking Bad? Well, David. I had I had been a fan of it, and I had a very good clip. Good friend of mine was one of the writers on it. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is Sam Catlin, mm-hmm. and um, Sam did not get me the job 
not and unsurprisingly, unsur- and mm-hmm. I was like, wow, you really didn't. But one of the other producers had actually suggested me, and I went and auditioned. Um, then they spent, I think, six long weeks looking for anybody but me to play the role. Um, <laughs> they luckily did not find anybody but me, so I had to go and do it, which was great. And um, often, you know, either either the sh- you you haven't been on the show or the show it's it's just starting, so you don't know. But in this one. I had been like a, a a fan, and I was like a kooky fan already. And that was back then, you know, in the, the first and second season, it was not as popular of a television program as it turned out to be in the end. Um, so it was a smaller, it was a smaller culty piece. So I got there, and um, I was very, very excited to do the role because I also, I loved it, and I loved the writing. The writing was incredible on the television show. So, um so I get there and I had to play. And the very first day that I was shooting was with Brian. We are meeting in this lab and it's this brand new giant set that they hadn't shot before. And they're introducing my character and this big set they're going to use for a long time. And um, it was a big whoop de doo day. And so I'm, you know, trying to play it cool. And at a, after about maybe two hours of, you know, we're doing the scene and we're doing another part of the scene and Brian and I eventually are just sitting right next to each other in our little cast chairs and having a coffee or something. And, and, I, and I finally started to disclose how much I loved the show. And then I didn't really stop myself from <laughs> telling him in very, very detailed terms what, how much I loved him. <laughs> And he, you could just see it on his face because eventually I got to the point where you'd be like, and then in episode 12 and, and season two and what you did in this one moment when you, lit, you didn't raise your eyebrow, but then you looked at her and, uh, and, and he just kind of looked at me and just started slowly backing away from me. Oh, God. And then he's like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, oh, no, I've. I've gone, I've gone super fan on him. He thinks I'm a total imposter. This is terrible. I'm going to get fired off the show that I just started. Um, but luckily, he just he, he he let me have a breather and and, and uh, I, I cooled down after that. Oh, and but he, to, he's uh, such a good dude, to, though. He, he probably he probably you know I mean he he's such a good dude. He's like a great no, human. He's a very good friend. Exactly. So he, he must really have taken a strike. I have a similar story to that. I'll share with you. Is when I met Bob oh. Barker. Okay. <laughs> Oh, now, nice. now, in terms of in terms of game show hosts, I would say he's the Brian Cranston in many ways of game show hosts. Yeah, right? I mean, absolutely, he's great, all time great. So I I went up yeah. to him because uh, I'm a diehard Price Is Right guy in college and growing sure, yeah. up, whatever. So I went right up to him, David, sure. and I said to him, you know, hey, uh, boy, I I just want to take the time. I'm sure you've heard this before, but I have a di- different perspective of why I love you. That uh, I'm I'm a host on NFL Network, and you know, I I interview players from all walks of life rookies and folks who are retired hall of famers and not so great players and people from different backgrounds and i am inspired about welcoming them all in in the same way that you've welcomed people to contestants row no matter their background or socioeconomic status or race color creed you just welcome all of them the same way and i just wanted to say you've inspired me and thank you and he looks at me and you know what he says to me he says to me he says to me, do you want to hug it out? <laughs> oh, come on. The only answer to that is yes. That's what I said. <laughs> I said yes. yes to that. As a matter of fact, I do want to I hug do. it out. I yes. Do, Bob Barker. <laughs> I want to hug you. A hundred percent. I did. And it was I've... one of the greatest answers that I could have gotten from him. You know, it's like, do you want to hug it out? And we did, in fact, hug it out. Wow. I got wow. to do that with that him. That is because I'm that the same way, very, David. Very I'm the same way. If I meet somebody who I'm a fan of, I will tell them that you know, and you should, yeah. you know, go ahead, you know, why not? That's yeah. the way I always felt. I've told I've told you when I met you how excited I was to meet you. That I've spent countless, countless hours listening to you talk about sports. Well, just I appreciate really just that. Too many hours. <laughs> Just late into the night, just like wow, I really should be not listening to this person talk about what? sports and make pithy comments with his friends on the television set. But there yes. I was, and I did it. And you did it, and yeah. and now you're telling me, and, and I loved it, and, and I, I loved it. Do you want to hug it out? Yeah, if I was there, I would a 
hundred percent. Crawl over that desk and give you a hug, pal. hundred <laughs> percent. And it was just like, you know, when I, when I met you and I, I, I definitely did fanboy you too. And uh, I told the story just a few minutes ago and uh, I had you take a selfie with me and you took a smiling one with me. And it was very nice. And I looked down at my phone. I thought to myself, I got to take this opportunity. I'm like, now, would you mind giving me one as wags? And and you flip the camera off. And it's just fat. It's oh, my yeah. there it is. We're putting it up on the screen. We're blurring it out. But it's just, you know. Yeah, that's the real one. That's, that's the real one. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a real, that, that's the real selfie. Not, not a lot of people get that one. But when you're, I, when you're a special person, such as you, you get that one. <laughs> At least I'm. At least I'm not going to blur it out and put it on national television and radio. At least I won't do that. <laughs> I cannot wait. What you've got planned, uh, sir? I can't wait to see it. I will be tuned in on Sunday night. Please I do. cannot wait. And everybody should catch up on Billions if you already haven't. Uh, in advance yes. of the return of season five, nine p.m. Eastern on Showtime Sunday night. Thanks for the time, David. I appreciate it. Great talking to you. Right back at you. That is David Costable right here on the Rich Eisen Show, at David underscores Costable on Instagram. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.